Today I will show you how to create a network map in Sabix so you can monitor your servers, switches and even internet connectivity. Have you tried turning it off and on again? This is the topology that we are going to use today. On the top we have Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 then we have our pfSense to the bottom left is a Subix server on Linux. We have an Aruba switch and a Windows Server 2025. So the Subix is basically going to monitor four other devices. We have set up that before in our previous videos and today we are going to do a map. So this is from draw.io but instead we are going to make a dynamic map with dynamic lines that go red or green depending on the connectivity and also some values on the labels. So let's head straight into Subix. This is where we left off on the latest video where we installed the Windows Agent 2 on the Windows server and we added some RAM and CDisk and on the left some CPU usage. But today we are going to focus on uh, some dynamic maps. First of all, I want to add the Cloudflare host so we can run a ping check towards that. That's going to be great on the map so we can see easily if we have internet connectivity. I will go to monitoring, hosts, then we will do create host top right. And for the host name, we can just say Cloudflare. The visible name will be the same for templates. We can start to search by ICMP and it will choose the ICMP ping template. Host group. There is no host group for external. We can make one. So make a new host group. You can actually just type it out, then it will say new within brackets. So it's going to be a new host group. We already have a host group for our internal servers, different appliances, but nothing for external resources. We do need to add an interface. It can be a bit misleading here in Subix, but you can choose whatever type you want. But the most important is the IP address. So this template is smart enough to pull the data from this field. So it doesn't matter if it's agent or SNMP, it will pull this data into this ICMP ping template. And you can just ignore the rest and ports, etc. So it's not going to use that. It's only going to use this field. Then we will press add and that is actually it for adding a host with a ping template. It will uh, take a while to get some data. But if we go to latest data here, we can see that we already have some data and the ping towards the Cloudflare host is working. So last time it pinged was 12 seconds ago and we have value. So it's only going to check these values the actual response time, if the ping is up and if you have any losses. Now onwards to the map itself. You can see here under monitoring, the next one is called maps. So we will press that one. And on the top right, it will say create map. So hit that one. You can make a name for your new map. So I can maybe just say my first map doesn't matter the name. And here for width height, you can specify if you want a larger map. So a bit larger. And the rest, yeah, there's a lot of different options here. You can have backgrounds, you can have specify where the labels are, but most of these settings are pretty okay, in my opinion on the default ones. So yeah, of course you can look up uh, all these different settings, but to begin with, these are okay. So I will just press add. The map is now created and to edit it, we just press edit here. 
All right, so it's of course totally empty and we need to put in our devices. I will start to add a device. We can see top left map elements. So we will hit add here. We will get an element. So I will try pretty much to replicate the draw.io map that we had earlier, but here with a working map in Sabix. If we click on this item, we can see type. It's not going to be a plain image because we're going to make a dynamic map and we will select host. Here in label, we can put in brackets and host.name and end brackets. And the next row, we can have the same, but for IP. So it will say the name and the IP. So this will pull from the host itself, these values. And for the host here, we want to use the Cloudflare one. Next, we will choose icon and I want to have a cloud. So we will select that. And we will hit apply. It will be a cloud and it should say host.name and host.ip. And we can close and we can press update. OK. And go into the map again. And it should look something like this. I will zoom in a tiny bit so it's a bit clear for us. So we have the host name and the IP. And it's very easy to make it right from the beginning because then you can just duplicate items. So if I go edit map top right and I right click here, we can just copy this element. And then I can right click again and paste it. This next item is going to be the PFSense firewall. So I will still have the host type, everything. But it's going to be another host. So this is going to be the firewall. So we will hit apply, close, and update. And we go to the map again. We can see it now changed to firewall for the host name. And this is the IP address. I will not have the cloud, but instead Maybe we go with a firewall icon. So let's type F and firewall. Hit apply. Now it's time to create the link between Cloudflare and our firewall. To do that, we drag with the mouse to select the two objects. And here where it says link, you just press add. A new field will appear right over here. And it says link from Cloudflare to our firewall, and we can edit that one. The line, we can swap to bold line. And here on the link indicator, we can select add. Make sure that the correct host is uh, selected. I will select Cloudflare. And here we would say unavailable by ICMP ping. And we will select that. Then we can also select what happens if the ICMP is not available. We will have a bold red line and hit OK. And apply again and close. And do not forget to press update. And let's head back to the map. So now we can see we have the host name, we have the IP, and we have a nice green line towards our firewall from the Cloudflare. Let's do some more objects. So I will hit Edit Map. We can select our firewall, right click, and copy it. And if we right click, we can paste with or without the links. And for our server switches, I do not want them to have external links to the Cloudflare. So I will paste without the links. So here we have one server 
that should be our Windows Server. So I will select that one and we will do the Windows Server 2025. It's going to be another icon. So I will select just server here, hit apply and close. You can see we need to link again and uh, this time it's going to be a bit easier because yeah these are internal ones so I can hit link add, edit the link and if you want you can have the bold link and I will also add the trigger again for the loss here and here we will have Windows Server 25 and I will scroll all the way down and we can have uh, sure Windows Subix agent not available that is pretty much it being offline and we will hit apply and close apply close okay so I have stopped the Aruba switch Hopefully this line will become red soon, but I will show you one last cool trick with the maps. So I will go to edit map and we are going to put some values on the link itself. For this one, I'm going to select the link that goes from the PFSense to the Cloudflare. So maybe we want to see the actual ping here. So we will go to the link object here press edit on that one and here we can see we have a field for the label if you copy and paste like this so here we can see we have brackets question mark last and then cloudflare the name and the actual key that we want to monitor so i want to monitor the icmp ping and if we hit apply and close apply and close it's going to look like this on the map but if we press update okay head back into the map we can see that yeah now we have the ping value here on on the line itself so that is very cool i will show you once again how the value looks so you have yeah curly brackets question mark last bracket slash uh, hostname slash ICMP ping sec and then bracket and curly bracket. If you want another type of value here where it says ICMP ping sec, you go to data collection host. And for example, yeah, let's see on the Aruba switch, you press item. And here you have the different type of keys to use. So I was using this one. So what you could actually do here is for example, we could set up to monitor the speed of the first interface on the Aruba switch if you want to show yeah, the network speed being used. So that is also a very good example. That's it for the map. And uh, for one last thing, I'm going to show you how to add it to your dashboard. And not only that, let's say you are very satisfied with your current dashboard. So you will go to edit dashboard and here where it says add, it's a little bit of a drop down here. You can see add page. So hit that one and we can just say map. This is just a name for the new page, the new dashboard page. We hit apply. And here you can drag your widget change the type to map select the map we just did and hit add and then hit save top right so now we have on the same dashboard a different page with our map and there is actually slideshow going so we are going to see the different data on the last page and also this map page is going to go back and forth. Here we can see everything works out fine. The Aruba switch that I put offline, the link is now red. So the conditioning of the line is working fine. 
you can see that it also says unavailable by ping and the rest is green the cloudflare has a nice ping that was it for today hope you guys learned something and see you next time bye bye